Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. After closing on Friday under $10 a share for the first time, Groupon stock was up 6% in early trading this morning. That's after CEO Andrew Mason sent a letter to stockholders to try to circle the wagons. He addressed some major criticisms of the company ahead of its first quarter earnings report due next week. And for more, I'm joined by Crane Senior Reporter John Pletz. John, uh, Mason teeing up the earnings report uh, next Monday. What do you say to try to inject some confidence in the company? Well, he couldn't give us a lot of uh, preview of what the earnings numbers are going to say, but what he did talk about was a lot of the different initiatives that Groupon's been trying, try to give investors some sense that those efforts are actually gaining some traction. Right. Obviously, they got a ratings boost this morning from one Wall Street analyst as well. He threw out some interesting stats um, about purchasing habits. Anything of note that we learned there? Well, he was particularly looking at mobile, which is key to Groupon um, and a lot of other deals. Uh, he said that I believe 30% of the folk, of uh, Groupon customers now purchasing on mobile. The reason that's important is it allows them to target deals uh, more effectively, but they also spend a lot more. Right. He also wrote today, Groupon has an opportunity to be one of the world's great companies. That has echoes of that slip during the quiet period before the IPO when they were saying, you know, talking about being wildly profitable. Is there going to be a time you think when they seem to just let the earnings speak for themselves and don't say this kind of thing? Well, you know, they're, they're trying to balance things. Uh, they've got to encourage investors that there's something really big here um, long term. It's not just a deals company. And that's a lot of what he's saying. And at some point, yeah, if they, if they can get the numbers going in the right direction, turn a profit, they're going to let those numbers speak for themselves. All right, Jim. We'll touch on this again next Monday. Thanks. You're welcome.